this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. And now it's a little bit easier to tell that we have actually the yellow, now that the colors are changed. The yellow is going over the red here, so you have it a little bit more yellow, and the yellow is going over the green as well, a little bit more yellow like so. So the order is quite good. Now what I'm going to do is just select all of these layers here, and I'm going to um, just move them, actually. I'm just going to move them here to the center, like that. Okay. Um, just because I wanted to. There's no... Um, impact here. Now what I want to do is uh, with all the layers selected I'm going to uh, drag all of them over to the new paper icon so I have a copy of them and with those with that copy selected I'm gonna go here and click on merge layers so it's gonna merge just those layers here and the reason I did that is so that we have that part of our colored text uh, done so th that's done okay now what I want to do is I'm gonna add some blur to a copy of this. So with this setting here, with these, I'm going to add a blur. But because the blur makes things very, well, um, light, what I want to do is actually just bring back the opacity to 100% on each one of these so that they're really saturated. Now I'm going to select them and merge the layers. And I'm going to duplicate it so I have two of them. So I have two really saturated layers. Besides this one, I have this really saturated one. And with this one, what I want to do with the bottom one here, I'm going to go into Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. And I'm going to add quite a lot of motion blur. So you can kind of see like the number two kind of popping out of these. So it creates quite, you don't want to go too much, but you want to make it so that the, the, the numbers are actually sort of popping out like so. In this case, it's about 100 uh, if you use a bigger image, you know, bigger resolution, then you might want to go a little bit more than 100. But there you go. You can see that the two is kind of just moving out of the picture. So we want a fairly um, vivid blur on this. So we're going to click OK. And I'm going to set the opacity to this uh, of this to 70%. So it's a little less intense. And now what we're going to do is bring up that other layer here, the middle one. And I'm going to go do the same thing, filter, blur, and motion blur. But now what I want to do is uh, have it less. So I'm going to zero it down and what I want to do is just create sort of like a, a bright glow to this on the edges. So I want just a little bit on the edges here that will be a little bit brighter of a glow. So you can see where the other one is. It's right there. And you want something that is just a little bit out like so. So it's just a bit out like that. So you can see this one is that much and that one is right there. Okay. In this case it's 21. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to change the opacity to this to less than 70. I'm going to set this to 60 actually. And uh, now you can see what we're doing here. We're just adding, here's the original one. We're just adding a bit more of a glow, right? It, it becomes a little bit more saturated and there's a little bit of a glow there. And then I add in more of that effect so we have even more of a glow. Now the opacities here, you can change them about. If you find that it's a little bit too distracting, you can change this to 50. And traditionally this one you'd want to put a little bit less because it's, there's less of a blur, so it's more intense. So you want to set this to 40, for example. It kind of depends where you want to go with this. I'm actually just going to go to with the originals here, the 70 and the 60 right there, like so. And we're almost done here. Now what we need to do is just merge all of these. So I'm going to select all of them and merge the layers. And I'm going to duplicate it, Control and J. And uh, on this bottom one here, since I have two copies on top of each other, I'm going to go into Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. And I'm doing this so that it can create uh, a bit of a uh, reflection going on. So with that reflection, what we need to do is, uh, first of all, we're going to change the opacity here to something like 50%. For now, I might have to make this lower. And I'm now going to go ahead and add a layer mask. With this layer mask, I'm going to click here on my uh, gradient to make sure I'm going from white to black. And with that, now I'm going to go uh, probably around here, click, shift, and then drag to about here or so and you get a bit of that gradient there. I think the 50 actually works quite well. You can see at 100%, let me uh, move my move tool here. Uh, at 100%, it's a little bit too bright, so we want to bring it down, so maybe 40 or 50. I think 50 works quite well. So we have, let me just select our two layers here and center this again here, just on our, on our view here. So we have our reflected here, so 2012. And uh, the only thing I want to do here is just to make it a little bit more obvious that we're talking about the Olympics. I'm going to add a, uh, a new layer on top here. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. Instead of 200, I'm going to put 50 points here and type in Olympics. Okay. 
So we have the Olympics, and I'm going to also add a, a gradient overlay. This time it'll just default to uh, white on black, and that's what we want. So we want it just fading a little bit. So we don't actually need to do anything with this as long as it's going like so. We have white fading onto black, so it seems like the font is actually fading. And uh, we're putting this, uh, actually let's put this below all our layers, actually. That works a little bit better. Because if we put it below, then we can make this go a little bit here, like so. And it actually looks like the ladder is just, uh, it's behind that, and it's actually fading into it, and it's being sort of overpowered by all this brightness that is going on with the 2012 logo. So there you are, that is the uh, glowing text effect, and I encourage you to play around with this, not just do 2012 Olympics logos and such, but you can play around any numbers or ladders and so forth, make it fa festive, you know, maybe spell out someone's name like this and do a happy birthday thing or something. So there you are, it's just an idea. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.